Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys along for the ride on upgrading my PS4 Slim. And in fact, this is going to be the first series of videos of the series I'm calling the Ultimate PS4 Slim Build. Um, so, we're going to see what we can do to increase some gaming performance um, that you might be lacking with the PS4 Slim. So, the first line in this video is going to be upgrading the hard drive to... Um, I'm sorry about my cat, but upgrading. So guys, I do have to apologize. If you hear my cat, he's going to be making a lot of noise in this video today. And he's a Siamese and he is a talker. But what I was going to say is, in the first video of the series, is I'm going to be upgrading the hard drive in the PS4 Slim to a Samsung 860 Evo 500 gig drive. I did get two of them, so my plan is to have one in there with the operating system and another one in there just as extra storage space um, for future down the line. And I also have planned with this bad boy to get a cooling kit followed by the VR stand because I do play, believe it or not, some VR games with PS4 Slim. So that'll be nice as well. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So, believe it or not, it's my first time cracking one of these guys open. So, I have my trusty iPad here, and I'm going to be referencing the iPad as I go. So, there's going to be a a lot of fast forwarding, but I figured it's better than nothing. And uh, by the way, if you guys didn't see it already or haven't yet, I will have a video coming out soon on this guy um, as an everyday laptop. So let's get started here, shall we? So I have to add, it's my, as you guys know, it's my very first time ever taking one of these apart. And that was kind of easy, but kind of terrifying when it comes to be, comes to removing one of these because it's only held down with plastic clips. Um, look how fragile those are. Okay. I'm just going to set that aside along with that bad boy and here we go. So it's kind of a shame that I couldn't just get a one terabyte but um, the store I went to which is Best Buy didn't have one terabyte that I wanted. It was all M.2. And 
So I decided to get two 500 gigabyte, and like I said, use the other one as storage, but with this one, I'm going to have to get an adapter, which you guys will see in the other series of videos. So, let's see here. Okay, and now, I got because oh, I haven't done it yet. Before I even thought of starting this project, I was I prepped the PS4 Slim for sale, and I was an idiot and I didn't back up any of my games. Near did I have a external hard drive that was big enough to back up all my games. So I am in the midst of re-downloading everything that I did starting with Grand Theft Auto, but since I've started this series, there will be a roundup to everything on how the PS4 Slim is performing, um, and I'll tell you guys if I see any performance difference or anything like that when we do the final video because this is part one of upgrading and there you guys go so i will see you guys in the next set of videos which should be in the next couple of months